Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to walk you through a demonstration of the Tonking platform and how we would take in a request, use conditional logic to ask follow up questions to that requester, share with them a screen where they can track their request, and how Tonking would use all that data to automate work against other systems and to orchestrate your process. Tonking is a no code orchestration solution. So, everything I'm about to show, there is zero custom coding involved at all. In fact, on Tonking, you can't code. You can obviously go to our website and check out all of our core competencies, but know that where we're really strong is in any process where you want to give a great user experience that meets people where they work, that orchestrates across systems and across people, and then allows you to get end-to-end -end visibility into that process. So what's an example like that? I'll just use legal because it's first up on my screen. This is the back end of Tonking. This is where the maker or the uh, workflow designer, the process owner would go to create workflows. And in this case, I'm using a legal example, but apply it to your particular situation. And in this environment, what I'm allowed to do is intake requests from email, from Slack, from Teams, or a basic triage form. So we can do really fancy stuff from reading emails that come in and sorting them dynamically into their appropriate branches in a workflow. But before we get there and into auto handling, what about just the ability to go to a form and put in your request? This is what that looks like. You see in Tonkin, we're stateful and we say when do. When something comes into this module, in this case, a form is filled out, it's gonna do certain other actions based on a bunch of triggers that you could set up. So you could say, when the form is filled out by this person, when the form is filled out in regards to this account, do these actions and you can control these states. And if those states change, just delete that branch of the workflow and it's not going to impact the other branches of your workflow. That's how Tonkin makes it very easy for somebody who's non-technical to come in here and read through this workflow and easily make edits and adjust the branches so that they can add more people coordination actions, asking users for, to fill out follow-up information, to ask them a basic question to send information, to grabbing information from different systems and updating them. So what does this do? It sends the user a basic form. Based on how they fill it out, I ask follow-up questions. And then I send them an interface where they can track their work. And if it makes sense to move it forward, I can even automatically take that data, put it into a template, assign it to somebody in my legal operations team, get it approved and get it completed. Could even route it for signature if I wanted to. Let's just focus on this first part. How do we intake work so that the team can work on it? Well, here is that form, my legal triage form. I simply have it bookmarked in my browser, but this works on mobile. We could put it into Slack. We could send it via Teams or email so that we can meet the users wherever they happen to be working. I'm going to fill it out very simply that I have a new hire request that I'll choose one of these options. I'll say it's from Mike Wheeler and that he's onboarding next week and he's going to be in IT. Because of how I fill this information in, it may ask me some follow-up information and I can send a note to their manager. And submit and you have full control over what these options are if you can use a google form you can use tonkin's form builder and now the next step is because i'm comfortable working in slack i set up my workflow to send a tracking interface directly to me in slack and it says all right we received your request you can view the status of it you can add it you can add comments to it right here maybe you want to use this screen maybe not but this makes it really easy for the end user to feel like they can track their requests, they can view comments, and they can communicate with the legal team without having to follow up via email and do a bunch of manual work to find their request. Now, what Tonkin has done, it's taken this request that I just entered, it's added it to the legal backlog. So you can see right here that the legal team can collaborate on all of the requests coming in. They can open these up, review the information within them, and then it, get the work done appropriately. They can even add to-do items for themselves so that they can track if there's subtasks that need to be completed. This allows the entire team, whether this be RevOps or legal or IT or finance, to see what work items have come in 
and all the information about them in these underlying systems. This workflow, again, actually creates documents and gets approvals. I can display that information right here so that even if you have a workflow that exists in multiple different systems or a request that might exist in multiple different systems, you can see the full picture in Tonkin because we're an orchestrator and we're a cross-platform. Finally, to just finish this out, that's where I would view my requests. Now that the form has been filled, it's created my template and it's gonna route it for assignment. Obviously you can change this up. So this one would go through Teams instead of Slack. Then I could even ask for the approval in email. Let's go ahead and give that real quick. Here's my Teams environment. As you saw, I just sent the request to my general. And so my team, my legal team could see requests coming in automatically get pinged even one-on-one -on -one if we wanted them to. Just by clicking this button, it assigns me of the owner, as the owner of this request. And then it could immediately you know, continue to answer and ask me questions within this interface. Or in this case, it's actually going to send me an email. And it's going to say, okay, here's the document that we generated. Do you approve that it should be moved forward? Yes or no. And so I can review that document right here, which has again been dynamically filled in with the information we entered. And I could go ahead and give it my approval straight from email. Very simple. Again, where do you want to communicate with your users in your workflow? How do you want that workflow to go? Tonkin gives you the option to own your own workflow, to not have to rely on development and IT to make custom changes to connect data together. We've done it in a no-code environment so that process owners can own these workflows and make changes to them in a safe, very secure way and then report and keep a, a strong backlog on all of the work going on, even if it exists in multiple different systems. So I hope this was helpful and would love to chat with you more. Talk soon.